the guys from the computer club came to the museum. They brought all of their gear, their emulator devices, and it was kind of like miraculous, you know, that they were able to read all of this information, this data that resides on these disks. We took a uh, USB device called the Cryoflux, which allows you to um, uh, attach a floppy drive to a modern computer with USB and create a low-level image of floppies. From this, we were able to get standard EDF files, which work with Amiga emulators, and we were able to examine the contents. All right, what's the number? 1998.3. Two one three seven. Two one three seven. Point one point seven. One point seven. <laughs> After the computer club made copies of Warhol's discs, uh, the files were turned over to Keith, who is the computer club's resident Amiga expert. Uh, we were all sitting in Michael's basement. Uh, I think it might have just been the day that we uh, came back from the museum. It might have been the day after. I can't quite remember, but we were down there in the basement, you know, surrounded by uh, Michael's retro computing equipment, looking through the files, trying to, trying to see if there was anything we'd even be able to display. What, what, what's going on? So what happened was, since I still had the disc, virtual disk inserted, it booted off of it, um, and that was interesting. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> well, there, there was a lot of uh, uh, screaming and excitement when we uh, opened one of the first things that we thought uh, uh, Andy Warhol might have created. Right. <laughs> um, dude, 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 dude. That's really like, exciting. There's here, a, can you, can you, for, can I, yeah. can I break the fourth wall? Oh my God, Maryland1.pick. Campbell's.pick? We see this Campbell's.pick, which is interesting. Maryland won. That's an understatement. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> understatement. I tend to understate things. 